I think you can start, Tony. All right. Well, I, I take it I can start then. <clears throat> Well, hey, thank you everyone for, for coming to this session. Uh, mine is one of a series of lightning talks, so this will be uh, fairly quick. I mean, the main purpose I think of, of these types of lightning talks is to, is to update anyone who's interested in terms of what's going on with something or other. And that's why I've titled this one, What's Going On in Malta. Uh, the, the key thing here is to, for those of you who perhaps are not familiar with the, uh, with the Wikimedia affiliate, uh, user group affiliated user group in Malta is that we're called Wikimedia Community Malta. We're based in Valletta. I'm actually presently in Valletta, even though I don't normally live in Malta. Uh, we are a, a purely volunteer organization. That's to say, we have no employees, and uh, we are a registered non governmental organization since 2016. We're registered as a volunteer organization here in Malta, and you can find what we do at wikimalta.org. I mean, in case you're wondering, Maltese is a very small language. Uh, if you go to, to the general language of uh, Wikipedia, you'll have to scroll down to find that Maltese is all the way down here because it's, uh, it's uh, less than uh, 10,000 articles on the Maltese language Wikipedia. And that's part of really you know, what we're most engaged with. Uh, through the CEE community, we've managed to uh, make significant inroads in this. And as you can see from, from this slide here, that is a kind of an outline of the history of the Maltese language Wikipedia. It's only in, in uh, the last couple of years since we got involved with CE Spring in, in March last year, just as the pandemic was kicking off, uh, that we really managed to uh, not only exceed uh, 4,000 articles, but also uh, get on a pace that is unprecedented in, in the previous uh, almost two decades now uh, of the Maltese language Wikipedia. Even if uh, for those of you who you know, can read graphs better than I can, perhaps you can see here the upward trend uh, uh, in terms of the average of active editors over the years uh, since we've been active as a user group going up from around three to, to uh, around 12. You know, we have edit spikes uh, in May 2020 and in May 2021, showing the impact of CE Spring. Of course, these would be around editathons that we'll have created or editing workshops. And uh, three uh, new page exponential spikes are in April 2019, May 2020, and May 2021. We're not entirely sure what that April 2019 is, but it's probably the multi general elections rather than CE Spring because we didn't have CE Spring in Malta in 2019. Our program is, is fairly simple in that we have uh, one general main activity every, every quarter. Um, so in the current quarter, that would be a Wiki Loves Monuments. Uh, historically, we've had something called Wiki Loves Art, which we're now phasing out. Uh, this has included primarily art and feminism activities, but also then uh, CE Spring, when at, at a time when you're familiar with it, and in the summer, uh, we uh, have started engaging with WPWP. In the last year, we also took on activities relating to Wikipedia 20 and a radio program called the Viaggi Enciclopedici. And uh, one or two people in the audience here perhaps have also been guests on this series of radio programs. Um, in day, but going forward, our activities will, will remain the same. The only main thing is that we'll be switching from Wiki Loves Art to Wiki Loves Folklore, we hope, and also to include folklore and feminism, uh, while perhaps retaining even art and feminism. You know, it, it all depends on how things uh, pan out in the coming year. I mean, my lightning talk more or less ends here, and I only have two things left. One is to show you some of the winning photos of our uh, Wiki Loves Monuments uh, contest over the years. This is the photo last year from last year's contest that got an honorable mention in the international contest, this place 20th. And this is the winning photo from this year. And the other thing is to share some statistics with you just to give you a sense of some of our metrics over the years. These are our, our general metrics for uh, Wiki Loves uh, Monuments. And you can see, I think the number of photos uploaded over a five year period from such a small community is remarkable. Uh, and even the number of participants and the number of participating new accounts, as well as, as even for something as, as relatively smaller as art and feminism. Um, here, interestingly, we show you the figures for uh, our CEE spring. And this in itself is interesting. Of course, it's a little more involved uh, than this. 
and uh, that's where I leave my lightning talk. And thank you very much for your time, and thank you very much uh, for listening. Thank you, Tony. Thanks for the insightful presentation about all your activities in Malta, especially about the results from Wiglas monuments and those uh, lovely images. Uh, now let's move on uh, to the second lightning talk today. Um, uh, so just because people have their hands up, there are no questions really um, about the lightning talks. We can maybe fit it in after the lightning talks if you want to stay around. Yeah. Okay, so the second lightning talk is by uh, Natalie Chebalova from Wikimedia Czech Republic. And uh, the title is Wikimedia Czech Republic Making Online Interview Series About the Wikipedia Community. Um, I'm not sure Natalia Natalia is here. If Natalia is not here, then uh, I can share my screen and uh, play the video on YouTube that she posted in the on the documentation page of uh, her submission. Okay, let's do that then. Jsem Anatol Spahilec a vy právě sledujete dvě minuty. Dobrý den, jsem Anatol Spahilec a vy právě sledujete dvě minuty s Wikipedistou. Čas. Wikipedistický jméno? Roman Vysanský. Počet napsaných článků stačí přibližně? 302-303. Super. Domovský město? Jelevnice. A hlavní činnost, téma, kterýmu se na Wikipedii věnuješ? Osobnosti, památky uh, severních Čech, severovýchodních Čech. Nejčtenější napsaný článek? Asi Teodora Němcová, dcera Bošeny Němcový. Naopak nejaktuálnější článek, který si dával dohromady, který má největší vazbu do současnosti? Lukáš Loudek. Jaký největší nebo nejčtenější článek si měl možnost editovat? Jan Soko, když zemřel. Největší chyba, kterou někdo v tvý vikipedistické tvorbě tobě opravil. Největší chyba, kterou ti opravil někdo jiný. Kopírování velkého množství textu, z čehož jsem se už poučil a nedělám to. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Preferovaná denní nebo noční doba psaní článků? Od 11. večer do 3. ráno. Super. Uh, uh, máš pocit závislosti na psaní Wikipedie? Určitě. V poslední době je to můj jediný koníček. Jaká je pro tebe představa apokalypsy Wikipedie? Že Wikipedie by neexistovala, že by explodovala? No to... OK, that doesn't... That didn't go as expected. Um, it started when he started his two-minute countdown. The, the picture was frozen, kill. And is Kirill just gone now? Oh no. I think there's something wrong with his connection. <laughs> um Okay, maybe we can, until we solve these technical issues, maybe we can, no, this is not going to work either. The audio is still very fractured. Um, okay, so who's, who's next on this? You want someone else to try and run this video? Uh, let's just... With someone with a better broadband connection? I, I've got a rather stable broadband connection, so if you want me to run this video, try and run this video at a later turn. Yes, uh, let me know. A, let, let's do this at the end. Uh, yes, thank you. The, the, the notes. So the next uh, presentation would be um, by Anna Vishnova. Is that a recorded presentation as well? Because I can't see Anna in the um in the meeting just going great yeah um so who is here who has a lightning talk and maybe we can just carry on with them 
<laughs> I think I think Nicola is the only one here. Nicola, are you are you ready to to present? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. ready to get along with my presentations. Uh, I'm Nikola Miloševski. Uh, I'm community coordinator of shared knowledge user group, and I'm here to talk about uh, our new 2020 project called Wiki Stand. Wiki Stand is a public activity uh, where we best combine Wikipedia with the common person due to its outreach character. This is about anyone who is interested, who wants to have Wikipedia editing skills and to contribute to the Macedonian Wikipedia. By participating uh, in editing an article or articles of their choice, the project's activities were managed by me and my colleague Ivan Živković, who is uh, administration coordinator of uh, our group Shared Knowledge. Uh, with this engagement, we bridge the gap between the regular people and the Wikipedia itself. Uh, Wiki stands uh, target destinations were places that are fairly visited like malls, public squares, busy pedestrian streets, uh, where visitors or pedestrians could edit on Wikipedia. When making preparations for the project, uh, we contacted and asked uh, the largest and busiest shopping mall, which is called uh, Skopje City Mall, in order to get approval and making a, a wiki stand there. The HQ of the mall were eager to let us make this kind of activity uh, in their mall. To a degree, uh, a factor for the positive approach uh, of the mall's executives was that one of, the, uh, one of them was a former basic level Wikipedian and knew the importance of Wikipedia itself. The stand itself was lent by the mall. Uh, so on September 18th, we managed to organize the first ever uh, wiki stand that lasted four hours from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., uh, which is the rush hour period in the mall. Uh, for, uh, at that first event, four people got chance to get quick lectures on Wikipedia, how to edit, and they created four articles. Uh, the next one, the second one, uh, which was seven days later, uh, we uh, uh, and also lasted for four hours from uh, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. This time, we got the attentions of uh, attention of seven people who created ten articles. So overall, we had 11 people and 14 new articles. Uh, when it comes to articles itself. Uh, they were about sports, uh, to be particular in uh, articles about former Italian football players, and one article about uh, uh, Bundesliga football stadium. Uh, also, uh, it was themed, uh, the articles were about geography, places in Albania, settlements or towns or villages, and uh, one article about a mountain in Slovenia. Uh, one article was uh, uh, about music, particularly about uh, a Austrian composer. After the editing, the participants got Wikipedia logo T-shirts for better promotions of the of our about the project and the inter, our internet encyclopedia. The participants, uh, when it comes to dem demographics, the participants were uh, varying from teenagers people in their 20s, people in their 30s or 50s. Uh, also, I'm going to note that two more uh, editions of Wikistand are planned at the end of this month or early December. So uh, that was my presentation about our new project, Wiki, uh, Wikistand. Thank you. So any questions if we have some if we have time? We have 40 seconds. If anyone has any questions or remarks, maybe. Or remarks, yeah. 
just some some comments in the chat about uh, it being an, uh, a very cool project and um uh, yeah I can, I can share some photo yeah can i share my screen of course yes you can Can everybody see my screen? Um, now, yeah. Yeah. As you can see, we are in uh, we are on Commons in category Wiki stands. Uh, I have <laughs> uploaded fourteen files from our two Wiki stands. Uh, I'm gonna select few of them. This was. Uh, this image is our colleague Ilan Zipovic holding a t-shirt of the logo of Wikipedia. You can see the stand. It has also the logo of Wikipedia, Wikipedia for better promotion of our encyclopedia. Uh, these are two participants who created one article each holding their, let's just say, <laughs> t-shirts of Wikipedia. Uh, these are the, the same two people uh, at the very moment of editing. Okay, thank you, Nicola. Um, I think we need to move on, but we can get back to the questions um, after the lightning talks. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll write down the questions. Thanks for the time. Thank you. So I think Wojciech is going to play some videos now. As I, can, I can try to. <clears throat> I can try to. Let me just check. OK, I can share the sound. Wow, uh, OK, you should be able to see my YouTube screen. Uh, can someone confirm? Uh, so far, we only see Nicola's screen. So maybe... Yeah, not yet. No, not yet. Okay. Uh, I can wait just. Uh... Or the two shared screens, so you have to actually switch. Okay, so I'm I'm going to switch off. Uh, Nicola will will yeah, also, yeah. and then I'll reshare my screen. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we still see your screen. Okay, not not okay. anymore. Okay. okay, so let me just uh, share sound, and I think you should see. The... Let's let's see how it goes with the sound. Dobrý den. Jsem Anatol Svahilec a vy právě sledujete dvě minuty s Wikipedistou. Čas. Wikipedistický jméno? Roman Vysanský. Počet napsaných článků stačí přibližně? 302, 303. Super. Domovský město? Jelevnice. Hlavní činnost, téma, kterýmu se na Wikipedii věnuješ? Osobnosti, památky severních Čech, severovýchodních Čech. Nejčtenější napsaný článek? Asi Teodora Němcová, dcera Bošeny Němcový. Naopak nejaktuálnější článek, který si dával dohromady, který má největší vazbu do současností? Lukáš Houdek. Jaký největší nebo nejčtenější článek si měl možnost editovat? Jan Soko, když zemřel. Největší chyba, kterou někdo v tvý wikipedistické tvorbě tobě opravil. Největší chyba, kterou ti opravil někdo jiný. Kopírování velkého množství textu, z čehož jsem se už poučila, nedělám to. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Preferovaná denní nebo noční doba psaní článku. Od 11. večer do 3. ráno. Super. Uh, uh, máš pocit závislosti na psaní Wikipedie? Určitě. V poslední době je to můj jediný koníček. Uh, jaká je pro tebe představa apokalypsy Wikipedie? Že Wikipedie by neexistovala, že by explodovala? No to je svět, ve kterém se všichni na Facebooku budou ptát na úplně jednoduché otázky. To je jasný. Kolik přátel si díky psaní Wikipedie získal? Tak já jsem začal psát na Wikipedii ve chvíli, kdy začal lockdown. Téměř. Téměř jako na stejno, takže uh, jsem získal jediného. A to seš ty, tak... <laughs> V tom případě kontroluji další otázkou. Kolik přátel si díky Wikipedii ztratil? Spoustu. Spoustu. <laughs> Dobře. Který článek ti dal nejvíc práce? Který ti dal nejvíc zabrat? Článek o jilemnickém povstání v roce 1945, kdy jsem fakt dopátrával strašně moc věcí. 
kterýho člověka, který si psal na Wikipedii, by si nechtěl potkat? Uh, Rainer Nosek, uh, jedno z leteckých S Luftwaffe. Který svůj článek by si neukázal svojí mámě? Určitě svůj článek o dickpiku, o obrázcích penisů. To byly dvě minuty s Wikipedistou Roman Vysansky. Romane, moc díky za rozhovor a zdravíme do Jelemnice. Taky, čau. There it goes. I'm just wondering if you saw this uh, this video with uh, with sound and was everything yes. clear? Yeah, yeah, you did. Okay. People so, were mentioning that the sound was offset a bit, but I'm not sure if that was the original recording or not. Um, I I think it was pretty well synchronized when I was watching it. But uh, well, let's let's see what's going to happen with the uh, with the other videos, uh, if I may. Yes, please. There are a lot of. I'm just wondering. Oh. Hello, everybody. My name is Ilsina Shakirova. Uh, I'm uh, from Iskishashkab village of Aybush district of Republic of my And right now I am teaching at our school, both Nick and Foreign uh, in our institution. Today we will be talking about, about, about Tatar Wiki Wikipedia using uh, Wiki and is for developing local language Wiki and information for well, communication means Wikimedia, Wikimedia Wikipedia, 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 Those is actively contributing Wiki Koybush Volunteer Club, April Wikipedia 
All right. That was the... Sorry, sorry for that. Um, I know that people who have great trouble um, distinguishing like people speaking when there's more than one person speaking. So sorry mm -hmm. for inflicting pain on people. <laughs> yeah, I hope that the at least the overall quality of the audio from my computer was good enough for you to... Uh, well, to it was... To it was too good in a way because um, you could <laughs> hear both people speaking clearly and it was just very... Clearly, good. yes. Uh, let's move to the third recorded uh, lightning talk. Um, you're still on my screen and uh, I'm going to play the third yes. of the videos that was submitted to tonight's session of lightning talks. Let's go. Hi, everyone. My name is Anna Vishinova, GLAM coordinator in the organization GLAM Macedonia. I'll talk about GLAM program from GLAM employer point of view. In the National Museum of the Macedonian Struggle for Independence, Copia, I'm regularly employed as a historian and educator. Here, I would like to refer to the establishment of the first Wiki Club in Macedonia in 2016 as a result of the cooperation between organization La Macedonia from the city of Skopje and the museum. The idea of opening the first wiki club in the museum for me as a club employer seemed very interesting because it is a different and inventive approach to the museum education. When we started the club, our main target group were the students from secondary and high schools. The museum served as a place where the students would be trained on how to edit Wikipedia, will develop their awareness and talent, but first of all, a place where they could collaborate, communicate and share. Members became part of the Wikipedia family and our Macedonian language Wikipedia has become richer for many articles since October 2016. As a GLAM institution, we offer space 
for meetings of Wiki Club members. And of course, materials that could be used in maintaining the editatons. In cooperation with the museum and the association Glam Macedonia, several thematic workshops were organized. That is an editing marathon, editathon, where the main topic is the history of the Macedonian people. The members of the Wiki Club created new articles under the mentorship of us, the educators, historians from the museum, and with our help, they used articles from professional literature on a certain topic and under the supervision of a volunteer from the organization Glam Macedonia. In 2017, the project Wiki Club in the Museum of the Macedonian Struggle by the Macedonian National Committee of the International Committee of the Museums was awarded the project of the year prize for the projects and activities in the field of research, presentation and popularization of culture and natural heritage. This is the first educational project awarded within the museum. This award proves that collaboration between the GLAM institution and the Wikipedia affiliates can be very productive. From our experience, I hope you can learn how to approach a GLAM institution. Always keep in mind that in most museums, there is a desire for a new project. Therefore, offer cooperation that will contribute to the both parties. And if your idea coincides with the idea of branching out the activities of museum workers, you will certainly be accepted. Okay, and thank you. I must tell you that uh, it was the very first time that I was sitting in headphones and I heard the massive space of the room that uh, this last video was recorded in. Yeah, that's, I think that's the fault of your fancy headphones. Um, they're, they're far from fancy, Philip. They're far yeah. from fancy. <laughs> they're very regular. <laughs> um, so the last lightning talk we would have would be from Natalie, but I still don't see her in the chat. Maybe if it's on a different name, please just unmute yourself and make yourself known. Um, not sure if Clara knows where, where Natalie is. Well, uh, the lightning talk uh, from Natalie was uh, the video played in, on YouTube. The one that uh, oh. caused me a technical problem and then uh, Wojciech uh, replayed it. Okay, I can't actually... Yeah, it, 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 was it, was, it was supposed to be followed by, up by uh, some uh, conclusion by Natalie, but uh, she's not here. Yeah, okay. that, that was the video of having a two-minute interview with the, yeah. the Wikipedian. So basically we're done. Seems to be the case. We only have five uh, sum ups. So this illusion of six is, is complete. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Akil, do you want to close it out? Yeah. Mm, thank you. So uh, we are nearing the end of uh, today's uh, program. Uh, we only have one uh, session left in uh, 42 minutes from now, which is uh, which was uh, deliberately put out of the main program because it's going to be uh, an interactive session in which uh, the WMF communications uh, team will organize a round table with interested participants. Uh, thank you all for joining uh, us today. Uh, I think we had uh, really interesting sessions uh, with uh, dynamic discussions and interesting questions that uh, speakers uh, uh, answered. Uh, so if you plan to attend the last session of the day, uh, then you can uh, stay in this conference room or use the same link. If not, uh, then uh, see you tomorrow.
Yeah, um, and the last session uh, it would pay off to have fancy headphones like Wojciech because then you can listen to the audio cues better. I'll I'll never get over it, will I? <laughs> I'm gonna bring them to a conference, and you will see that they're they're not fancy. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'll see you all later then. Thank you, and see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.